members of the graduating class, parents and friends, I rejoice with you on this memorable occasion. I could be tempted to speak to you at length tonight, for there are many things that I would like to say to you young people. I would also like to affirm here my faith in the public school system and to express my appreciation to all those persons who have persevered in their efforts to improve the quality of the public school educational experience. However, since I know that my speech is the only thing that stands between you seniors and your diplomas, I will endeavor to be brief. come to any one of the staff members who would like to also 
uh, make you feel as if you could come into this office and get help from any of the administrators or the counselors to help you work out whatever problem that might come up. Now, this could be a school problem or it could be a personal problem. Basically, we're saying to you that, that we're here to listen and to work with you in whatever way we can. Bathroom, get my homework. Uh, Bruce, I think you can't take them getting in place with staff. You're not coming on in? Um, I would. Uh, I'll talk to you at the side. <laughs> How many of you have finished reading the criticism? The criticism is valid because it exists. the numbers here but but they're all in the wrong order
Bruce, are you avoiding me? Bruce? I'm trying not to avoid anybody. Me? No. Bruce, what's the matter? Nothing. You're working too hard. Haven't you ever had the kind of day where you wake up to a dark morning and you have to put your socks on in a dark room and all you've got is a big basket full of black, brown, and blue socks? Hey, what's happening, Bruce? Ain't not much, bro. Hey, I see you hanging around with Virginia a lot, man. You dating her? Yeah, I guess. Uh, kind of a weird chick, though. What do you mean, a weird chick? I don't know, man. She's just expecting to do all this trash, man. I'm trying to get an education. It's just as simple as that. Now, education at this school? Hey, <laughs> hey, what do you think about this mod schism, man? You can't learn anything with that. It's too short of a period. Uh, well, you know, I think, I think Mr. Graham's basic idea about this thing is great, you know? Don't you? I mean, you know, just the, just the mod schedule and have the free time to do whatever you like, you know? Instead of having, you know, a documented thing to do every day, every time, and that never changes. Hey Fred, what are you taking this year? I don't know, I, I think I'll take English 4 as a true art course, you know, a small course, I don't know. Really Do you have brains now? I got Miss King. Really? Yeah, she's all right, but uh, she just got here, she got to get a justice system. She like that? She like the mod system? Yes, yeah, she did. That's good. Good. So I got this. I got this teacher that's teaching me creative writing that is just is bad. She yeah. thought there's to it. She doesn't like the she doesn't like the mod system. You know, she didn't give us any free time or anything like that. You know? and I thought that's what the, I thought that's what it was all about. You know, to give us when we had the free time, to give the free time. You know? I mean, what what's different about her from the other teachers? She just doesn't like it. I guess you know. It's, it's, it's a break of tradition, and when you set tradition down, you know, some teachers think that this is the way it's supposed to be. You know? It's just a complete drag. So I don't know, you know, maybe, uh, maybe it'll change. Maybe yeah. not. Hey, Bruce, how about loan me a dime if I can pay a library fine? You know, I don't know if I got a dime or not. Man, I don't have a dime. You don't have a dime, man? I mean, like, I have to pay my library fine. I don't have any money for this. Sorry. You think you can borrow a dime for me? I mean, like, uh, I have to pay the library fine. I mean, I have to get my report card, okay? That's the one dime, okay? Hey, Freddy. Yeah, man. Here you go. Thanks, you. Right. I really need this dime. I have to give my report card. I have to pay the fine. Oh, hi, Bruce. Do you have a minute, Mr. Graham? Yeah, come in. Have a seat. Thank you. Oh, what? A minute for what now? I, I just wanted to talk to you about uh, the problem I've been having with with this teacher, one of my teachers. It's a, my English mm -hmm. my English teacher. I did this paper uh, about three weeks ago. Well, I did the paper in essence three weeks ago, but but I just turned it in a couple of days ago, and it was a day late. Mm -hmm. But uh, I thought it was one of the better papers that I had written, and and she gave me a D on it, and you know, I've been having this, you know, that, that upset me. Why well, have, uh, have you uh, have you talked to the teacher about it? I've had this problem with this teacher all year. You know, I mean, it's like mm -hmm. it's something between uh, her and me. You know, and I just I don't know what it is. It's whether it's just you know me or whether it's her, but there's just no communication whatsoever. And you have trouble talking with her and, about anything, know, or I don't know what it is. I really don't. Uh -huh. And all I can all I can think of is that you know that I just get another teacher or or, or just stop working with her and you know 
maybe go an independent study or something. I don't know. It's just you. you do you feel like that would solve your problem? Like, uh, you that's the, that's the only thing. I, that's the only resort. That's that's all I can think of because it's just I'm not getting anything anything done, and she keeps marking my papers down, and I keep turning in what I think are A papers. Uh -huh. And uh, I've had other other teachers tell me they're good papers. Uh, but you feel no. like the problem with the teacher would be solved if you just didn't work with the teacher at all. That's, that's what I... Well, I'm knowing you, I know you have it in you, Bruce. I know you can do it. I know you can take care of it. I'll do something. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. What's wrong, Bruce? Ooh, lots. Want some lunch? You look hideous. 
you. Eat them anyway. Gross. What's your middle name? I don't know. <laughs> in a way that is civilized. Lacking this... this... <laughs> Lacking this is a... I mean, what is high school anyway? I mean, how many times have you asked yourself what you're doing here? And how many of these units of knowledge are you going to retain? When you submit to this, you're submitting to a system that's trying to make you something that's not yourself. I mean, they put you in a rut and they keep you there. And that's where they make you accept society for what it is and not what it should be. I mean, is this real? I mean, what are you submitting to? The present. Why? I mean, you're in a college for next year. You got a summer ahead. But I live in the present, and I have to cope with the present. Oh. Hey, Bruce, you coming to my party tonight after graduation? I didn't know anything about it. Well, are you going to come? Yeah, I guess I have to. Sober, can you believe it? Oh, I don't know. I was just getting into it. I don't know. I never could get into the whole high school thing. I mean, people pair up so fast, they just lose their friends. I mean, I'm not down on people loving each other. It's just that high school romances seem to miss the point. What is the point? I mean, how do you feel when you're in love? Suppose you meet somebody someplace, and she seems to like you and enjoys being with you, and you feel the same way. And when you leave her, you can't stop thinking of her. So you call her up and ask her out, and afterwards you realize that everything seems well, kind of natural just being with her. So you ask her out again and maybe again, you get to the point where you're spending every minute with that person. And when you're with them, the whole world seems to disappear. And you just feel dizzy. Haven't you ever felt that way, Bruce? No. Bruce, you're hopeless. I mean, you can't be as lost as you seem. I mean, I see you hanging around with Virginia all the time. Aren't you two in love? I guess not. I mean, we were together a lot, but it's not what you were talking about at all. Can you give me a ride home? Sure, but first I have to find Virginia. She left on the bus. She left on the bus? She's never ridden the bus home before. I always give her a ride home. Oh, my. 